What's up everybody? In a previous video I tested a TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender and it did not extend my Wi-Fi network. I'll post a link to that video in the video description if you're interested. So here I am testing another Wi-Fi extender. This one is the Rockspace AC1200 dual band Wi-Fi repeater. In this video I'll use the word repeater and extender interchangeably to mean this device that I'm testing. My router is located near the front of the house. My back room currently gets a medium to low 5 GHz band signal, and sometimes it drops out completely for a few seconds. So I want a stable 5 GHz band signal in that back room. I will put this repeater in the same location that I put the TP-Link device. My internet service plan is a 100 over 100 files plan. Frontier Files gave me an Aris wireless device, but the signal sucks on that device. So my current router is my Linksys EA7500. My main test device is going to be my Acer Chromebook 15 C910. This device is from Rockspace. It has great reviews on Amazon, but more importantly, it is a dual band extender. In the box, there's a lot of cardboard, there's a device, and the instructions. It has two antennas that are not replaceable. It connects directly to a wall outlet. This one is an AC1200, so it reaches theoretical speeds of up to 300 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz band and up to 800 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz band. It weighs more than the last extender, it feels a bit huskier, and it has an ugly design on the front. But I love that it's black. It has an Ethernet port at the bottom, but we won't use that because we're trying to wirelessly extend my Wi-Fi network. Let's get this repeater set up. You have two options, the WPS and the web interface. With WPS, find an outlet near your router and plug in the repeater. Press the WPS button on the repeater, the light will start flashing, and then you go to your router and you press the WPS button, give it a couple of minutes and it should be ready to use. I installed it using the web interface option. Find an outlet near your router and plug in the repeater. Find the Rockspace network and connect to it. Once you're connected, open up a blank web page. You can either enter the IP address of the repeater, which is 192.168.0.254, or you can type in the web address to the repeater, which is http colon forward slash forward slash re dot rockspace dot local. The first page will ask you to create your login password. Now you'll need to select your router. I'm extending the 5 GHz band, so of course I'm going to select Linksys 5 GHz band. Enter your router Wi-Fi password. Press the extend button. Now it's going to start extending. And then it'll tell you when it's finished. It also lets you know that there's a signal light on the repeater. So as you connect the repeater to a different outlet away from the router, a blue signal light means that it's in a proper position. A red signal light means that it's too far away from the router. The repeater creates two SSIDs both with the suffix EXT. For me, the one with a single EXT is the 5 GHz band, and the one with two EXTs was the 2.4 GHz band. It's time to test it. In my first test I did, I was outside my back room, I just connected the repeater and ran a test for each. Wow. Mmm. Yeah. The repeater works. The next day, I refreshed both devices by turning them off and on. I retested both devices from the outside. Okay, so it looks like my router was helped with a refresh, but the repeater is still doing good. From inside my back room, I went back and forth running speed tests from each device. Overall, the repeater is outputting better speeds compared to my router. I ran more tests on a different day in the morning. The extender overall has higher numbers and it has more consistency in the speed tests. But wait, there's more. When my son is on his iPad for distance learning, in a three and a half hour time frame, we probably drop out about three times. Using the repeater, we didn't get disconnected at all. So overall, yes, the extender works. It's a keeper for me. But it's not a perfect device. When I set it up to extend my 5 GHz band, it created an SSID for 2.4 GHz. When I connected to it, the signal was poor compared to my router's 2.4 GHz signal. So I did a factory reset of the device 
and select it to extend my 2.4 gigahertz band. And I saw no benefit compared to my router's 2.4 gigahertz band. Another problem that I ran into was with my 2013 laptop running Windows 8.1. The laptop refused to connect to the repeater's 5 gigahertz signal. Testing Wi-Fi devices is very complicated. You can't just plug it in, connect it, run a speed test, and call it a day. I'll have to make a separate video just on testing Wi-Fi extenders. The last thing I'll tell you is that while your results may vary from mine, this repeater is worth trying out if you want to extend your Wi-Fi signal. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. See you in the next one.